Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Azure Active Directory security defaults. We know everybody knows that managing security can be difficult with common identity attacks like password spray, replay and phishing becoming more and more popular. Security defaults that are available on Azure makes it easier to help protect the organization from all of these attacks with pre-configured security settings that are available from Azure by default that we all can leverage. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So what we can use is that we can require our users to register for Azure AD multi-factor authentication. So if you go to Azure AD, type in here, Azure Active directory click on it multi-factor authentication with would come if you go on to users and if you click on any user authentication methods require register MFA, revoke MFA. So I've already set up the multi-factor authentication for all of these users. You can do it, you can click on this and then you can log in with your existing ID to set up multi-factor authentication. All right, and then you can, uh, so this is the one point. These are security default feature that are available to you. For some of the features you may require as your pre one premium pre-1 or premium p2 license type but some of them are readily available then you can enforce the setting wherein requiring administrator to perform multi-factor authentication so in some of the ways you can see so if i go for this user to enable uh, multi-factor authentication any i can do enabled Then I can click on manage user settings. Required selected users to provide contact method again, deleting all existing app passwords, restore multi-factor authentication. Then I can do these settings and click on it and then I can deploy how are these users would be able to log in after I enable multi-factor authentication. That is a separate process altogether. Right, so like let's say if you want to go to your default directory and you click on properties and then will you log down you would say access management for azure resources so i am the global admin for this active directory azure active directory i can manage all the access to azure subscription and management group in this tenant right so i am enforcing as an admin to enforce this setting. And this availability, Microsoft from the backend is making security defaults available to everyone. The goal is to ensure that all organizations have a basic level of security enabled at no extra cost. So if you would purchase security softwares outside of Microsoft, you may have to pay per user or per on the per license basis, but Microsoft is making available some of these settings by default without any of us paying extra cost, right? So there are methods to enable conditional access, right? So for whom the conditional access would be favorable. So if you are an organization currently using conditional access policies to bring signals together to make decisions and enforce organizational policies, then you can use, use it. Or you can some of the policies would enforce on your directory level that uh, would force all the users in our tenant to register for multi-factor authentication in the form of the azure ready multi-factor authentication so initially users would have 14 days to register for azure ready multi-factor authentication by using the microsoft authenticator app and after the 14 days have passed the user won't be able to sign in until registration is completed 
and then you we all can enable the setting wherein to protect the privilege actions like some of the organizations use a variety of Azure services which may be managed through Azure Resource Manager ABI. So some of the organization admin would do all the things from from the Azure portal. Some would use Azure PowerShell. Some would use Azure CLI. So we can use Azure Resource Manager to manage the services in a highly privileged action. So Azure Resources Manager can alter talent by the tenant wide configuration such as service settings and subscription billing setting right so i can grant particular people particular level of access to only manage and take care of certain things that would not be available to each and every user i can grant few people the billing access i can grant few people the virtual machine access only to restart that particular virtual machine right so after we enable security defaults in the tenant any user who is accessing the Azure portal or the PowerShell or the CLI will need to complete additional authentication. So this policies uh, applies to all the users who are accessing Azure Resource Manager, whether they are the administrator or user. And uh, as far as the authentication methods are concerned, we can send the notification through the mobile app. We can verification code from the mobile app or the hardware token. We can do the additional layer of security by sending a text message or a phone call, right? And then there is a thing called conditional access that we can use to configure the policy similar to security defaults. But the conditional access provides us with uh, more granularity, including user ex exclusions which are not available in security default so that is the extra layer of security that you can apply other than using the security default so the question comes up how do we enable security default defaults right so first you will have to log on to the portal and then you would go to so let me start from the beginning so first you will log on to the portal then you will go to the azure active directory then you would click on properties now you will click on manage security defaults so look very clearly at the end at the bottom here let me in here right would be at the bottom click on it it says security defaults is a set of basic identity security mechanism recommended by microsoft when enabled these recommendations will be automatically enforced in your organization administrators and users will be better protected from common identity related attacks if you click on yes you click on save Security defaults have been enabled for this tenant. You can check the logs here in the activity log for the changes that you have to see. So if I go back to here, you can set it to no as well. And if you want to read more about it, please go on to the Microsoft documentation. It would do these right and if you want to disable it just click on no we would love to understand why you are disabling security defaults my organization is using additional access my organization is unable to use critical so any of the reason right you can go with any and click on save if you want to disable it right i hope this was informative to all of you guys if you have any queries mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day